Hello guys and welcome to a FIFA 14 video, I know I haven't done one in a while but I found a team on here which I think is just literally overpowered to shit it's the most probably sweatiest team you're going to come across on FIFA 14 and it is really really cheap it cost me around about 10 to 15k to build and it's got some amazing players in there they're the most sweatiest players on the game that I think um, but yeah, I just want to quickly say I'm sorry for not uploading. I know it's been about three weeks since I last uploaded one video, but hopefully I should get back on track now. Um, I've just been in the process of moving, so I haven't been able to uh, upload any videos or get any videos ready to upload. So I do apologize about that. And if you guys want to see any other FIFA 14 videos like wages or pink slips or pack openings, anything like that, then please do drop a like and I will make sure to try and get them out in the future. So, to start off in the goal, we have got Handanovic. And if I mess up these players' names, please do not like hammer me in the comments because I'm not the best at pronouncing names. Um, he's a really good goalkeeper. Um, I think I played like three or four matches with them. Uh, yeah, I played three matches with him. He's pretty good got pretty good goalkeeper, he's got pretty good stats, six foot six foot four, so he's quite tall and pretty all round good goalkeeper. Uh, left back position we have Radu. Actually he's pretty awesome. Um, I know there is another left back, I can't remember his name, that people think that's better than him, but he's got seventy eight pace, eighty two defending and seventy six heading, and with the backbone chemistry on him, pumps all those up. Um, plus his passing doesn't really need any more pace but I think he's an all-round good player um, he's really solid really fast and can get like get on players in instant even even though he does push forward because he has a medium work rate and attack but he's high high defensive so he does pull back and in the first center back spot we have Ogbonna Og Really, really good centre back. Pretty cheap as well. I mean, I paid a thousand coins for a six foot two um, centre back with 77 pace, 82 defending, and 79 header. And you can't ask more for that, for that kind of money. Uh, next centre back spot we have Ben oh, Ben Natty, Ben Natty, or something like that. He is awesome, guys. I mean, I paid two thousand coins for him. 73 pace, 87 defending, 83 headering, and I think he's got an inform where his um his defence is actually 90. So an inform version of him would be very nice in this team, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna put as many informs as I can in this team because I, I know there's about three or four players that are inform in this team that I've got. So I will be upgrading very soon to those players. And in the right back spot we have a bait, really good, really fast defender, he's got 93 pace, 73 defenders, 74 headering, 74 dribbling, 73 pass, he's an all round good player with a nice high attack and medium defence, I mean he does go up the field, he likes to get up the left wing, he likes to get his pace out, which is really good, but when he needs to come back he comes back really quickly because of his 93 pace he can jog back really quick, really all round good player. We're going to start off with the right mid now. Um, in the right mid, we have Quadrado. Oh, I don't know how to say his name. Um, really, 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 really quick player. I mean, when you when he's got the ball and he's running, I don't think there's a left back that can touch him in the BPL. Because I just played my my friend twice, and he couldn't catch this guy. I mean, he's got one assist already, and he's only played three games. He's got a, a nice height and medium uh, work rate, so that's pretty good all round good player. Uh, for the left mid we've got Asamoah, I think that's how you say it. Really all round good player again guys. I mean 83 pace, 82 dribbling, 74 defending, 76 shots, 78 passing, 73 heading. I mean all round good player. High high work rates as well so he's a good, he's a basically CDM and a cam player in my eyes. Really, I know he's a left mid guys don't worry I know he's a left mid but in my eyes he looks like a really good cam or CDM player but he's on the left wing okay let's just get that in there he's got one assist as well um, in three games that's pretty good first CM spot we've got Fidel now originally here I did have this guy um, 
Montari, uh, I don't know what his name is. He's got all round good stats, but when I seen Vidal and he plays for the same team as I think it's Juventus, I thought he's going to link up a bit better with the left mid and the centre back um, because um, he only links up with uh, As Asamoah um, through the country and through the same league. But as whereas Vidal uh, links up really well with the centre back and the left mid, so I swapped him out. I put um, Vidal in there instead. Um, but Vidal has got great, great stats again. 79 pace, 82 dribbling, 77 shot, 82 defending, 82 passing, 71 headed. He's got high, high work rates as well. So he's basically a cam and a CDM in my eyes. Next in the CM spot, we have. Grani or Grani, I don't know how to say his name. Like I say, guys, all these players have got all good round stats. I mean, I don't need to keep showing them out. You can just see. Uh, I mean, his main stats are 83 dribbling, 82 shot, 82 pass. But look at his pace. He's got really good pace. He's got really good defending. He's got really good header. He's got high to medium work rates. So, really good, really good all round player. I think he's got a couple of assists. He's got one goal score and one assist. So, he's a pretty good all round player. First striker is going to be uh, Martinez. Really, really solid player. I mean, he's hard to get off the ball. I mean, I think it's something to do with his height as well, because he is 6'1", and to be honest, he's tough to get off the ball. He's uh, scored two and assisted one in three games, so he's, he's done. He's done his work. I mean, all like again, I say, really good stats all round. And obviously everyone knows who this guy is going to be on the on the right, on the left side is Ibarbo. Oh my God, this guy is so quick. This is unreal. Uh, he's got 93 pace, 73 shot, 85 dribbling, and 75 headering. And he's six foot two. He is really hard to get off the ball. As you can see there, guys, he's played three and scored three. In my eyes, that is a good player. I don't care if he's scored five in three games. As long as he scores one in each game, he is a good player to me. Um, and that is basically the team, guys. That is the team. Uh, I'll show you my bench. I've just got more sweaty players on the bench, like Buffon, Felipe Santana. Um, my, my, I can't say his name. I've got El Shawari, uh, BRB, I can't say his name. Balotelli and Abamyang. I mean, um, I do my super subs. Um, say if I'm losing, like say 2 1, I will bring on Bellatelli because look, he does link up and you still get 100% chemistry. Uh, I'll bring on Bellatelli and El Shawari, and it still has a better chemistry, 100% chemistry, better rating. But I do prefer to have these two players on. Uh, I, I do prefer them to, to have them on the bench. Um, just because I do prefer Ibarbo and Asamoah um, on my starting squad, but you can always change to Bellatelli if you've got the coins or El Shawari. I mean, they're not that much coins. 3.8k and 7.9, so you get them for about 12k. But yeah, guys, that is the video. I uh, hope you did enjoy it. Hopefully, I'll be posting more videos and be sure to like and subscribe for more. And peace out, guys.